I'm uh, Darren Fister from FD Motorsports uh, here in Brentwood, California. Not OJ's Brentwood, which is Southern California. We're actually in Northern California. <laughs> we have a nice little uh, Porsche specialty shop here. We build some custom parts, uh, custom exhaust parts, a lot of performance parts for Porsches, and we also do a little bit of service work. But uh, generally, everything's uh, pointed more towards the performance side of the Porsches. Fell in love with Porsches as a kid. Uh, the passion just turned into a hobby, which turned into a uh, business. So it's, it's something that I love to do, and that we love to work on the cars here and uh, create new products for the cars. A lot of the parts on the German cars are uh, they're aluminum, so they, they're really kind of tough to get in and clean. A lot of intricate parts, small, a lot of detail. So uh, that's why we ended up going towards the vapor honing machines. They really clean the aluminum nicely, um, get into all the nooks and crannies, and actually make the parts look like brand new again. Before we were using regular media blasting and it was actually, it was really roughing up the surface a lot. I wasn't really happy with the finishes we were getting. It was making them clean, but uh, the vapor honing machines really make it, uh, make it look new, not just clean. Once I did some research on the product, I determined which uh, product I wanted due to size and specifications. Got a hold of John and he really helped me with setup, uh, including uh, what products to use in the machine to get the results that I needed. Uh, with the product that I was using. I first sent him a couple of samples of the products we were cleaning and uh, he did a sample cleaning on it for me and sent it back to me and told me the different uh, materials he had used on it. So that helped us narrow down uh, how to set the machine up right for our use. The equipment setup is very easy. Um, the machine comes pretty much set up. You gotta hook up a couple of small things, put the casters on the bottom, uh, supply water and power. It's pretty much it. And uh, I mean, within the first hour and a half, I probably had the machine. <laughs> So let's just do that again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, within an hour, hour and a half, I had the machine up and running, and then we were running tests and figuring out how to use it for our best for our needs. Uh, very easy.